you're a dad, I just hope you don't wake up one day and realise what you've missed. You're pregnant. I'm not bloody pregnant. Thank God for that. No, I mean, I knew it was... I mean, obviously, when the film came out, it was so... like a phenomenon that I thought, well, this is, this, this is, this is going to be rem remembered. But it, for it to be remembered the way it has been for 20, 25 years, it has been kind of like a, like a long shadow that's followed me throughout my career, but, but it's, a, it's a warm shadow, you know, and there's nothing cold about that. Um, I've enjoyed it, I've, en I've enjoyed, you know, talking about it, I've been enjoying talking about it, doing the kind of press run, you know, the past couple of weeks uh, for, the, for the new TV show, I've enjoyed talking about guys, and that's, you know, it's not always the case when you, when you do press for stuff, so. Um, I'm, I'm just like a, any other fan watch, watching this. The, I, I, that was a great time back then for me, and certainly in the mid to the late 90s. Uh, nothing weird about it, the fact that I would never ever want to do it ever again. It was, uh, it was, it was, it was horrific doing the stripping thing. It was, um, you knew it was in the script, it was there, it was the end, you know, and we shot that towards the end. So we thought, yeah, it's going to be fine, it's going to be okay. But of course, the closer you get to that moment, um, it became, you know, sort of bigger and bigger. It was, it was, it was fantastic. It was, it was, it was great. It probably, if I'm being 100% honest, went on a little bit too long. I think it kind of slightly ran out of steam towards the end. Um, but I think certainly the first four seasons of, uh, of Once Upon a Time were, were as, as good as anything I've been involved in. I loved the character. Um, Rumpelstiltskin was, um, it, it was handed to me by, by the, the writers, by the creators of the show. They had been, um, they, they had been fans of train spotting, believe it or not. So uh, when I was, um, when they asked me to, to come and be involved, they said, look, you can do anything you like with us. And I'd never really been told that before, so I was able to kind of construct that character from, from scratch. Get the easy part out of the way. The worst part's the makeup. That was a, a nightmare. That was um, hours of just torture, basically, and then about an hour to get the whole thing off. So that that was very very tough, especially first thing in the morning when you're just going to be bothered. <clears throat> so that was very difficult. Um, the best of it was I was able to, as, as I said, they were able to create this thing from scratch, and an awful lot of Rumpelstiltskin's uh, mannerisms and his um, speech was actually based on um, old Glasgow, you guys would maybe, maybe call it vaudeville, but uh, music hall, you would call it old Glasgow music hall comedians, uh, the like of what, none, not names that I could say you would never have heard of. So it was, it was, it was an ama amazing thing for me to actually bring these, these guys back to life in this, um, the guise of this, this, this strange character. <laughs>